quick reminder to the viewers, it is reminded to our viewers. That the depression signs discussed and talked in this video. Should not be used to diagnose anyone with depression or sign of depression. This is merely a discussion. If you or someone you know is struggling with depression. Please reach out to a mental health professional. Who can help? Now, let's start. Have you ever had days where all you wanted to do? Is lie in bed and do absolutely nothing else. You just wanted to be lazy. And not worry about any of your responsibilities? We've all had our off days. We've all felt lazy, unmotivated. And uninspired from time to time. And it's normal to feel like that. But we live in such a hyper-competitive society. That's so hyper-focused on pursuing success and wealth. That it's made us feel internally guilty. For the time we spend not working. Towards something productive. When you overwork yourself to exhaustion. And are dealing with chronic stress. It will inevitably have adverse effects. On your mental and emotional health. But what if it could be more than that? What if your laziness is more? Than just you feeling burnt out? Here are 6 warning signs of depression. That are more than just laziness. Number 1. You can't snap yourself out of it. A sense of laziness usually creeps in. When you're overly stressed. Or if you've been working too hard for too long. And there are a lot of nifty tips and tricks you can use. To snap yourself out of it, like making a to-do list. Listening to motivational talks. Or setting achievable goals. But when it's depression, depression isn't a choice. And it's definitely not something you can just shake off. Or get over no matter what other people tell you. Depression is a serious mental illness. That needs to be treated with professional help. And medication if required. Oftentimes, depressive episodes can recur. Throughout your life. So months of therapy may be needed to help you cope. Number 2. You can't cheer yourself up. Do you often struggle with feelings? Of unexplained loneliness, sadness, and hopelessness? Do you feel exhausted all the time? And rarely have any energy? You might be feeling downcast and disheartened. For reasons you just don't understand. And nothing you do seems to cheer you up. Or make you feel better. No amount of sleep, comfort food, self-care activities. Or fun times with friends seem to do much. To brighten your spirits. When you're battling depression. Not even doing the things you used to love the most. Or spending time with your loved ones. Can make you feel better. Number 3. You've lost interest in everything. According to the American Psychological Association. A markedly diminished interest of pleasure in activities. Is one of the hallmarks of a depressive episode. So if you've found that your laziness. Has made you lose motivation and interest in everything. Including school and work. Then that's a sure sign. That something is seriously wrong with your mental health. With depression, you tend to lose interest in your hobbies. And emotionally withdraw from those around you. You prefer to stay at home. And lay in bed doing nothing most of the day. Because you just can't find it in yourself. To care enough about much of anything anymore. Number 4. You can't function like you used to. Do you feel that your laziness is getting out of hand? Has it become too much for you to manage? Is it getting in the way of your work? Your school? Or your personal life? If you answered yes to any of these questions. Then you may be dealing with depression. In diagnosing depression. Psychologists tend to look at the four D's of abnormality. They are deviance, distress, danger, and dysfunction. So if your laziness is making you dysfunctional. Significantly interferes with your everyday tasks. And feels like a constant hurdle in your life. Then it may be time. To see a mental health care professional about it. Number 5. Your laziness isn't triggered by anything. Oftentimes, laziness manifests as procrastination. And may be brought on by a number of different reasons. Some believe a sense of laziness. Reflects a lack of self-esteem. While others would argue it's because of a lack. Of positive recognition from others. It could also be due to a lack of discipline. Self-control, and interest. But what about depression? What brings about depression? Well, the truth is psychologists don't really know. But one thing we do know for sure. Is that it isn't usually triggered. By just one particular thing. There isn't always a clear reason. For why depression might develop. So if you find yourself feeling down. Disheartened, and unenergetic all of a sudden. Depression may be the reason why. And number 6. Your laziness isn't a choice. Finally, but perhaps most importantly. The key difference between depression and laziness. Is that while laziness can be changed. Depression isn't so easily altered. If you're feeling tired or unmotivated. You can do something to change that for yourself. You can rest, brainstorm, look for inspiration. And try out different productivity hacks. 
to help you get out of your funk. But with depression, it's not that easy. It's not a funk that you can just get out of. When you have depression, you're not making the choice to be depressed or stay depressed. In fact, patients with depression often report feelings of extreme guilt, shame, and helplessness due to their depression. No one with depression is ever just doing it for attention. Mental illness goes so much deeper than that. Can you relate to any of the signs of depression in this video? If you or anyone you know is experiencing serious feelings of depression, don't hesitate to reach out to a mental health care professional and get help. Please like and share this video if it helped you. And you think it could help someone else, too.